Hello friends, welcome to this video for finding out square roots of perfect squares in just 3 seconds. Let's begin by observing the pattern of squares of first 9 natural numbers. Now on my right, please observe the squares of natural numbers coming up one after the other from 1 square up to 9 square. Please observe that the units digit of the answers of the squares are same for 1 square and 9 square. Similarly, for 2 square and 8 square, the units digit of the squares is 4 in both the cases. Again, for 3 square and 7 square, the units digit of the squares is 9. Similarly, for 4 square and 6 square, the units digit of the answers is 6. 5 is a special case where when you square 5, the units digit of the answer is always 5. To understand what this means and why we are doing this, let's take the example of 2 square and 8 square. When we square a number with units digit as 2, the units digit of the answer will always be 4. Example 72 square is equal to 5, 1, 8, 4. So the last digit or the units digit of the answer is 4. Similarly, when we square a number with units digit as 8, the units digit of the answer will always be 4 again. Example 78 square is equal to 6084. So we have 4 in the answer again. This is useful because finding the square root of the number is just the reverse of finding the square of the same number. Now let's understand the technique with an example. The question is coming on the right hand side of your screen. Root over 1, 3, 6, 9. Step 1. Guess the units digit of the answer. When we square a number whose unit digit is 3, the unit digit of the answer is 9. Similarly, we also know that when we square a number whose unit digit is 7, the unit digit of the answer is again 9. Therefore, in our question, the unit digit of the answer will either be 3 or 7. Step 2. Take a number whose square is less than or equal to the first two digits of the question. Let that number be x. In our case, the first two digits of the question are 30. Therefore, our x has to be 3 because 3 squared equal to 9 which is less than but nearest to 13. If we take 4, 4 squared will be equal to 16. So 16 is more than 13, hence not correct. This number x that we have identified as 3 is the first digit of our answer. So at the end of step 2, our answer could be either 3333 or 3737. Now, to confirm which is the correct answer, we have to go to step number 3. Step number 3. Multiply x with x plus 1. In our case, x is equal to 3, therefore it will be 3 into 4 which is 12. Now we shall compare the first two digits of the question with the result of x into x plus 1. First two digits of the question are 30. 
the result of x into x plus 1 gives us 12. If the first two digits of the question are greater than x into x plus 1, then take the greater number as your answer. Therefore, in our case, because 13 is greater than 12, our answer will be 37. However, if the first two digits of the question are less than x into x plus 1, then we have to take the lesser number. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share our channel. Thank you.